without objection. Madam President, I rise today to discuss H.R. 3801, the Ultralight Aircraft Smuggling Prevention Act of 2012, and I urge the Senate to pass this legislation today. Passing this bill will not only help to secure our southwest border, but it also affords us the opportunity, opportunity to honor an incredible colleague. I had the privilege of serving with Congresswoman Gabby Giffords in the House of Representatives, and she is the force behind this legislation. She originally introduced it in 2010, before the senseless act of violence that took place, and she won its passage. But the Senate failed to take it up. Over this past year, we've been working with Gabby's staff, and I was honored to introduce her bill in the Senate with Senators Heller, Bingaman, and Feinstein. It passed by unanimous consent in December, but was held up in the House because of a procedural issue. This allowed Gabby to reintroduce it in the House this week with Congressman Jeff Flake. And yesterday, as we all bid Gabby an emotional farewell, the House overwhelmingly passed it by a vote of 408 to zero. I commend the House leadership for working to make sure this important legislation passed as Gabby's final legislative act before resigning. And I want to especially say how honored I am to have worked on this legislation with her. Like all Americans, I've watched in awe at Gabby's courage and her remarkable grace. She inspires us all. She represents the best of our nation. Dr. Martin Luther King once said that darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Gabby is truly a shining light to all who know her. The Ultralight Aircraft Smuggling Prevention Act is a testament to Gabby's commitment to securing our borders from illegal activity. A new trend in drug smuggling is to fly a one-person ultralight aircraft over the border to drop drugs. Hundreds are flown across the southwest border each year. Each one can carry hundreds of pounds of narcotics. Because ultralights are not categorized under existing law as aircraft by the Federal Aviation Administration, they do not fall under the provisions of the Tariff Act of 1930. This means that a drug smuggler piling an ultralight is subject to weaker criminal penalties than one who uses a small plane. Ultralight present a unique challenge for Border Patrol and prosecutors. Our legislation will close any unintended loopholes. It will give our law enforcement and prosecutors the additional tools they need to combat drug smuggling. It will also add an attempt and conspiracy provision to the aviation smuggling law. This enables prosecutors to charge people other than the pilot who are involved in aviation smuggling. It gives prosecutors a new tool to go after the ground crews who aid pilots as well as those who pick up drugs that are being dropped off in the United States. This bill will also direct the Department of Defense the Department of Homeland Security to establish and collaborate in identifying the equipment and technology for border protection to detect ultralights. The ultimate purpose of this legislation is to make our communities safer. And it is fitting that Gabby from the very beginning has been so instrumental in making it happen. I also want to acknowledge the hard work of her staff who has worked on this bill tirelessly uh, every day. Peter Ambler is, is one of her staff members that's been key in this. Uh, Dabby's, Gabby's staff I know is very dedicated to her, and, and I know that Gabby's perseverance to advance her legislative priorities during her recovery demonstrate what a good public service, public servant she is. Gabby, we know you'll be back, but until then, we wish you and Mark all the very best, and we thank you for your extraordinary service to our nation. Mr. President, I yield the floor and note the absence of a quorum. Uh, the clerk will call the roll of, of the Senate. Mr. Kaka.